Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a very easy food. As you can see, some hockenberry. And this is straight from my garden. So I'm going to take you on a short, quick tour. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So today guys, we are going to be making huckleberry and fufu corn. And this is like my, one of the easiest recipe anyone can make. It's very easy to make and is very easy. Like I told you guys, I planted my huckleberry in the backyard. And as you can see, this is like a, let me just show you guys a quick tour of the huckleberry ridges. This is all huckleberry. And I usually plant this during the uh, planting season, which is between March and November. And as you can see, they are all looking fresh. And I just took my bowl and I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of the huckleberry. And it really grows so fast and it's healthy. Here in the US, we can't really find huckleberry. So we have to like plant it. To find huckleberry in the grocery store is really hard to find. So the only way you can eat some good, good huckleberry is by planting it by yourself at the back of your backyard or your garden. So I just finished harvesting my vegetable. So guys, it's about time we get to get busy and we cook some huckleberry. But first we have to fix it. So I'm just going ahead and fixing my vegetable and I'm going to just plead fold it into halves and remove the hard stems that's what i'm doing right now and i have to do that for the rest of the huckleberry so i'm going to go ahead and just separate the hard stems if you are from bali nyonga and you don't know how to cook fufu corn and vegetables i don't know this is the hard stem uh, that I, I just show you guys and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash this um, Huckleberry very well. You want to make sure that you wash your huckleberry very very well because Because of the dirt and the sun and you know Make sure you wash it. So uh, what I usually do is I'll wash it like in the sink But just for the purpose of this video I want to show you guys like you have to like wash it like deep wash make it float in the water like shake it real well and i rinse it about three times so i like that's why i have like three bowls as you can see and i rinse it and rinse it and change the water in between and make sure you shake 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 to remove all the sand from the vegetable after it's ready, I'm going to put it in a pot and we are going to boil the huckleberry. As you can see, it's all nice and fresh from the farm. I'm going to let it steam and I will let it steam for about 15 minutes on high heat. And I'm, I'll probably just go ahead and cook just one of these pots. So it's not like I'm cooking the whole dish. The whole two pots so i'll keep the rest in the freezer and this is the easiest recipe like i told you guys it has the easiest ingredient all you need is tomatoes and some people don't put tomatoes the traditional way you just do it plain without tomatoes some onion some palm oil i like to add granite oil some maggi cubes and salt i'm going to go ahead and just slice my my uh, onion and my tomatoes some people don't put this it's very optional the traditional way that my grandma used to make is just to make it simple like she just boil it and just put salt and a little bit of oil and pepper and we eat it with fufu but you know is now is the modern way and this is how we do it and this is how i like it so my vegetable has been boiling for about 
15 minutes and you see there's a lot of water in there because I did not drain out the water but you can always drain out the water but me I don't mind so I just let it steam I didn't put no salt because I don't want all the water to come out I want it to still have that juiciness so that's why I didn't put no salt yet so at this point it's nice and ready and I'm going to go ahead and just remove it and strain out all of the water from the huckleberry I'm also going to be using this um, janga and back home we usually f eat this janga with fufu corn in Bali. If you're from Bali Nyonga, you know what janga bonsu is. So I, this is not quite the soft one. This is like the strong kanda one and but still it works out. So I'm going to use it and make it and put it on the side. And all I need for this is some onion and tomatoes and some pepper. And that's basically the ingredient. Very simple. What I usually do is I put it in a pot like this. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer my njanga in there. And as long as heaven and earth remain. I'm going to add some palm oil in the pot. I like to use palm oil for this njanga and add it like a cup of water. And I'm going to cook it on the fire for 30 minutes. And I make sure I check in between to make sure the water is not burned or make sure the water is still in there. Uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and slice my huckleberry and what i usually do is just put it on a chopping board and i like to slice it i know traditionally we don't have to slice it we just boil it and you go ahead and eat it but since i like to just slice it so that i can get the little pieces easily so i'm not fighting to put it in my mouth so i like to like slice it and squeeze the water but i still kind of squeeze the water but not too dry i squeeze it just a little bit now I'm going to go ahead and put some palm oil in my pot. I put about a cup of palm oil. I let it cook for a little bit. And I like to add some granite oil because the palm oil that we have here is very sticky. So to avoid the palm oil from sticking too much, I usually mix the palm oil and the granite oil. I put about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to go ahead and add my the rest of my onion and I will let it fry just for a little bit you don't want it to burn I stir it in between it's been like five minutes and I'm going to add my tomatoes and fry them together this is the easiest recipe guys if you are from Bali Nyonga or you are married to a Bali Bali man and you don't know how to cook fufu con and jaman jama I don't know what to tell you because this is the easiest recipe you can ever know or ever learn and there is a bali man and fufu corn is they have they wear the same pants together <laughs> all right guys i went ahead and added my um and pepper and salt and maggi in the tomatoes and i'm just going to go ahead and stir it at this point my tomatoes is nice and ready and i've been stirring it in between i'm going to go ahead and add my um jaman jama so i squeeze it just a little bit not too dry because i like to keep the juice so when your tomatoes is nice and fried i'll say for about 15 minutes or when it looks like um when all the big bombs are all nicely fried you can just go ahead and add your huckleberry and you just stir it and stir it and stir it and at this point you want to make sure you taste and make sure that the salt and maggi is just the way you want it 
and that's about it guys can you imagine this is the easiest recipe like it's so easy now let me check on my njanga my njanga bonsu has been boiling and at this point it's nice and soft and i just stir it and i let the water dry once the water is dry and you just have the oil left that's when you, how you know it's nice and ready so i'll let it for a little bit more and when the water is dry i will turn it off I also went ahead and added some salt and maggi in there and I make sure I taste it. So my oil has been dried and right now is ready as you can see when the when the uh, water is dry is ready let's move on and cook the fufu now guys then the fufu is very easy too it's very easy to cook the fufu this is what i use It's a pre-cooked goya brand and this is very easy i usually use this one or the white one and it doesn't matter i usually mix the two but from this same brand so what i do is i get some cold water I add about a cup of corn flour of my fufu flour. I stir it and my water has been boiling. So what I do is I'm just going to add this to my water. About three cups of water. So I'll just add it and I keep stirring it until it's nice and thick. So you want to stir it you want to stir it and when it's really nice and and thick about five, uh, 30 minutes later you want to add your corn flour and just tear like you see me do and you add your corn flour gently and because you don't want it to have bumps or lumps so i'm using the red corn flour that's why you see the color is kind of red and what you want to do is tear and stir you don't want to let it sit and form any lumps or bumps. So you use a wooden spoon and you stir your fufu. Stir it and stir it until it's nice and smooth. So I'm adding some warm water because the fufu is kind of strong. And I want it to be a little soft. And I'm going to let it steam for like 10 more minutes. And it's after 10 minutes, I'll come back so guys i decided to add this makiro this is fresh makiro and all i did was put maggi and salt and i'm frying it in hot oil deep fry i wanted to put this on the side because this is very tasty i was lucky to find some makiro at the grocery store as you can see it's so tasty with vegetable is so good it's been 10 minutes and back to my fufu and the fufu is now looking good and it's boiling and i'm just going to go ahead and use my wooden spoon and stir it until it's nice and smooth once your fufu is nice and smooth you can taste it and at this point the total hours that the fufu has been cooking is probably about 30 minutes or so and I'm going to use a plastic wrap to tie my fufu and it doesn't matter if you use a plastic wrap or whatever you have to use to tie your fufu. I usually use this clear plastic wrap and all I do is just put it in there and just wrap it and make a little ball. So our food is now ready guys. So now we have our huckleberry, our fufu corn, and our njanga bonsu guys. This is like the the best and easiest and the most consumed food in Balinyonga. 
So it's very easy to make and it's the most consumed food and many people love it. People eat this every day and never get tired. We have our Njangabon soup, very delicious with fufu corn. And we also have our huckleberry and our fufu is right there guys. And look at that freshness in that huckleberry. And at this point my my kiro is nice and ready too. And I'm going to put it on the side and eat it with my huckleberry, guys. So guys, the food is ready, guys. And I have some visitors and we are just going to go ahead and eat. And look at that delicious food, guys. Oh, mmm, jangabunsu. God, jangabunsu loom. I loom and loom. Yay. Me fufu no fine, so chai. So delicious, guys. Thank you so much for watching.